were team 29 and our client is over not. Technological progress and the outbreak of the pandemic increased the demand for the remote re meetings on VR. With the development of Microsoft Mesh and VR techniques, user-created content will be pivotal. Traditionally, 3D modeling requires professional skills done with specialist software. This will hurt the popularization of VR as it is inaccessible for the majority of users. We want to make the process of 3D modeling to be simple and accessible to users with little or no experience. Based on background and the problem, there are three key requirements to our project. Research techniques to convert 2D images into 3D modules, evaluate techniques, and create a proof of concept tool. We researched seven deep learning solutions that use various techniques to convert 2D images to 3D models. We also had a hardware-based solution that involved using LiDAR sensor on the Azure Connect camera. We chose two techniques, 10-step and 3D R2N2 to further test and evaluate. We wanted to create a demo showcasing how a user would be able to convert 2D image to a 3D model. We chose DenStep for 3D object generation. The basic tool chain is to first get the source code of DenStep and compile it into an executable using PyInstaller. We then connect the executable to a GUI so that a user can run DenStep in a user-friendly environment. For the GUI, we use model view controller design pattern. We developed the GUI in Python with PyQt5 and Open3D to visualize the 3D models generated by dense depth. Here's a demonstration of our GUI. So for testing, I created a testing framework in Python with classes that could be easily extended with further solutions and tests in the future. Uh, each solution is an object with a run function and can be passed into comparison objects or test objects. This was also created with a model view controller design pattern in mind. Though I tested our two main solutions, the input data was from the ShapeNet database, a database of images of objects from multiple angles and their ground truth 3D models. I tested this on my home computer and found dense depth was significantly faster on average. However, 3D R2N2 can also run on a GPU with NVIDIA CUDA, so if this was set up likely, uh, 3D R2N2 would also speed up. Uh, comparing the performance of these two solutions uh, is not possible since they have different outputs, they have different ways of measuring success, so instead I have evaluated them against other similar solutions. So here, dense depth is compared against other solutions that produce depth maps. A loss function has been defined by comparing the generated map against a ground truth, in particular comparing the depth values and the depth gradient. We see the average error is comparable or lower than other comparable solutions. Again, we see dense depth has a comparable or lower average error. Uh, for 3D R2N2, it can be single or multi-view, and we see the IOU generally improves with the number of images inputs, uh, higher IOU meaning a better reconstruction. And so for a user, this means if they can take multiple photos of the same object, they can get a better 3D reconstruction. Here, 3D R2N2 is compared against another solution across multiple image categories, on average performing better, though there are some edge cases such as the chair with like, thin legs and the computer monitor. So overall, we have, create, we have compared our 2D to 3D solutions, we have created a testing framework, we have created a demo, and we have summarized our findings in a report. So here are our references, and thank you.